South Carolina natives have returned home after being kidnapped by the Mexican drug cartel, which left two others dead. And now U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham says the U.S. needs to take immediate action. News 2 Sophia Radebaugh joins us in the studio now. And Sophia, you are telling us more about what the senator had to say today. Yes, Hannah, Aaron, Senator Graham says this is another example of why the U.S. needs to be tougher on drugs. He says it's time to stop the cartel once and for all from terrorizing Americans. I was just say, I love you. Then. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad you made it through it. Robert Williams' brother, Eric Williams, was one of the two survivors of a Mexican cartel kidnapping. Shahid Woodard and Zindel Brown were found dead. All of the victims from Lake City, South Carolina. Just been on the phone with family members of those South Carolinians that were uh, kidnapped, tortured. The group drove to Matamoros, Mexico, so McGee could get a cosmetic procedure when they were kidnapped at gunpoint by cartel members. Senator Graham says there will be revenge. We're going to unleash the fury and might of the United States against these cartels. The two survivors arrived back in Myrtle Beach Wednesday, reunited with their families. Williams' brother says the only way to describe that is relief. Just had faith that he's a tough guy, like you said, and that he would pull through and that he wanted, that he would want to live. But Graham says having them home is not enough. We're going to introduce legislation in the coming days and trying to make it bipartisan to designate these groups foreign terrorist organizations under U.S. law to open up more capability to go after them. What's keeping the cartel in business, Graham says, is fentanyl. Now Senator Graham is proposing the U.S. step in to eliminate the cartel at the source. We're going to enter, introduce an authorization to use military force where the United States military can go in and destroy these labs. Now NBC confirmed there was a fifth person from South Carolina who was traveling with the group to Mexico but didn't have the right documents to get in. I'm live in studio. Sophia Radeball, count on two.